president says we are not in normal times. We have become accustomed to terms like quarantine, lockdown, social distancing, contact tracing, and the likes. So what is COVID-19 and how has it impacted the Christian and the church at large? What are the lessons that we can take from the Bible going forward? Today, together with my panelists, we want to discuss everything you need to know about COVID-19 and its impact on Christianity with the Bible as our source document. This is PS Talk. My name is Pastor Friends and I am your host. With me to discuss this crucial issue are three very educated and spirit-filled men of God. To my immediate right, I have my own resident pastor, Reverend Joseph Opukweje. Reverend, you're welcome. Thank you. And then to my left, I have a man of God who is joining us for the first time, Pastor Opon Damwa. Pastor, you're welcome. And to his immediate left, we also have Dr. Glenn Jima. He is also a pastor of the Praise Sanctuary and he is joining us for the first time. Doc, you're welcome. Thank you very much. It has been an awesome beginning of PS Talk. We've been discussing about different issues and today we want to look at COVID-19 and its impact on Christian and the church. We trust that you'll be blessed by our discussion. We want to pause here and go for a very short commercial break. When we come back, we would zoom straight into the time of discussion and we know that you'll be blessed. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and be blessed. Yo, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, the president said that we should learn to live with COVID-19. So we are all learning to live with COVID-19. And today we want to talk about COVID-19. I want to ask my panelists to share their experiences with us. We went to a quarantine period. We went to a lockdown. We have come out of a lockdown. And we are anticipating that there will be an easing of the social gathering. So we want to understand how we've gone through this period of COVID-19. We want to share our personal experiences and what we have also learned so far. I want to start with you, Reverend. COVID-19, so how has it been so far? Thank you, Pastor. Uh, like you rightly said, we are not in normal times. What I can say in some few words is that the experiences has been very frustrating, uh, very chaotic, like we used to go in school and somebody be asking more. It has been very inconveniencing very unusual, abnormal, but we know that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. And so, in a nutshell, that is what I can say for now. Very, very convenient. We are not used to some of these things. But it has become something very new to us. So, I will say, 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 Amen. Amen. Pastor, you 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 are you are one person who has experienced something like this before. Um, from your experience in Sierra Leone during the days of Ebola and then through it up to now. So how do you compare the two issues, Ebola and COVID-19, and how is it? What has been the experience so far? Ebola and COVID-19 came at a time that nobody expected anything of the sort to happen. And that is why it has taken the whole world as a surprise. Nobody prepared for it. And it's like it has disoriented every life. I came to Ghana and in less than one week, the whole nation was locked down. I had to get all my family members together. We came the house and we have not lived like that before for a very long time everything has changed you wake up in the morning you don't have the opportunity to go through your normal i mean life and it's like whether you like or not you have to be in the house sometimes you need something you want to go out and you ask yourself what am i going to meet out there and everything has changed regular sources of revenue and income are not coming different set of expenditures are coming in 
even colleagues and people around you need your help and assistance. You see people who are actually in need. And I think the experience of COVID-19 is the fact that all of us, like the Bible says, need to prepare. There is something that we don't know that can happen to us. And I think that is the theme in the Bible, that we need to prepare. The Bible says that the ax is prepared for the day of battle. And to me, that is one of the greatest experiences I have. Thank you. It's awesome. I'm sure that you are identifying yourself with some of these experiences. It's been an awesome experience. It's been overwhelming, if you like. And as Reverend said, most of us are not used to these times. But as we go on with our discussion, you'd understand that in everything, Bible says all things work together for our good. So in everything, God has a purpose for us. And we know that his purpose will shine the brightest as we come out of this period. Um, Doc, you, you, you have lived a lot of your adult life in China. And this disease or virus started from China, Wuhan. So you would understand the situation even much better. What has been the experience so far from the start to now? What has been the experience? I'm glad to be given an opportunity to be part of this panel. And as you rightly said, I spent most of my time in China as compared to staying in Ghana. However, the times of SARS, that was 2002 to 2003, all those times I wasn't around. But a little history that I was told uh, by the church that I was with is that there was no church member that was infected and there was no one that maybe had a problem in the course of that period. Uh, it, they went through a very um, difficult times. The DS was more like airborne, person-to-person uh, -person contact and so many things and it became something that happens in the world as so newer than as we are talking about this one because we now have a history of such a situation yet the church did not suffer that was something that was very very comforting and very assuring to the church and so it's no wonder if you look at the side of this world that is being a developing country less information as to the issue of the COVID-19, uh, issue of logistics, less prepared, and so many other things that we are left behind. Yet, you could be, you could be so sure that the issue of infection rates in, in the whole of Africa seems to be very less. Death rates seems to be very less, which is so alarming to the world. They don't understand and they can't comprehend. And all these things could be attributed to the fact that our father had been extremely gracious to us. And that is where I draw my consolation from, that the days are not normal. Very, very true. Yet the very interesting thing about it is that it is rather bringing a lot of people's mind to who the creator is. Perhaps they know of the existence of God, but they are not in a relationship with him. But this situation, I believe, had come to really bring, bridge that gap of knowing that there is a God who exists, but you yourself not committed to him. So this had become a bridge leading to those people to be able to have that relationship with our Father. That's what I can say for now. That is awesome. So you see, someone asked a question. Why do we have to pray? When, when, uh, when we are talking about a health issue. And then my question is, why don't we have to pray? Because for us, all we know is to pray. Because when we pray, our God hears. And it's amazing, as Doc said, that with us developing countries, the death rate is relatively low. Because we know and we have learned to pray, and God answers prayers. Reverend Joe would always say, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. So we want to look at this COVID-19, this era. We've been talking about the difficulties. We've been talking about all the challenges that we've been going through. We want to look at how has it affected our everyday lives. See, as a Christian, we are looking at it from the Christian perspective. That as a Christian, how has it affected our everyday lives? Look at different areas of our Christian lives. So 
I want Reverend to start. He will take it from the spiritual point of view. How has it affected our spiritual point of view positively, negatively? And then we'll go on with other areas of our lives. So, Reverend, COVID-19, how has it impacted on us spiritually? Thank you, Reverend. COVID-19. Uh, the name is even an awesome name. And we know that we also serve an awesome God. Uh, let me look at it this way from where doctor left off it is pointing to the fact that there is a God there is a God without God the whole world would have been in a chaotic situation but this is pointing to the fact that there is a God that we cannot bypass before I touch on the spiritual aspect I want to quickly read something from 2nd Peter 3.10 2nd Peter 3.10 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? And that is where I want to touch on the spiritual aspect of the impact of COVID-19. If you look at the church, the impact that it has made or it has had on the church it has been very grave you know we are preparing ourselves for heaven and all not all our christian levels are the same so you realize that for them that are let me put it in a way half baked it has really drawn them backwards again for those that are up there in course it means that it has been an awakening call for them to get closer to God again. Looking at the church, looking at the individual life, and looking at the family life, the spiritual aspect of it has been in two folds. People are now getting awakened. They need that they need to get closer to God. And some said you give a kind of above here as a be a better house and actually as I and you said, I don't know the that and I will so up so funti with ye it's your baby. That is why I refer to the half big ones but it has drawn us closer to God. It has made us understand that there is a need for us to build our personal relationship with God. You can now see that families are getting together to pray. Families are getting together to relate. Families are getting together to discuss so many things. And then the other aspect is that we are not meeting as a congregation where many, many people will be built up in the Lord. You know, people are built up when we see a lot of gatherings. The Bible says, do not neglect the assembling of ourselves together. I told somebody that it is also a necessity for us to come together as, 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 as a people so that we can fulfill the purposes of God. So spiritually, it has been a, a twofold thing. Those who are strong in the Lord, they are building up their faith, and those who are less in there, they have had some issues drawing closer to God. So I'll end there and we'll continue as uh, we go along. Reverend, I want to come back to you. Okay. Um, let's stay, stay at the spiritual. Um, you mentioned something. You said that uh, it has brought families together mm. to fellowship together and we have a tangible experience in praise sanctuary. Yeah. Can you share that with us? How it was before COVID-19 with our family systems and how something developed during the COVID-19. It, thank you, Reverend. It has been an amazing experience in the church. You know, uh, for some past months, we've been working towards building a holistic church. We, we are not looking at any other thing, but we are holding on to the theme of the ministry as it comes. We embrace it as a church, and we put steps in place to make sure that things are working. When it was declared that it is a year of the king's business, Apostle of God started teaching us as to the need for us to strengthen our cell system. Uh, somebody will say, like joke, like joke. We didn't know how it was going to end, but we gave ourselves to the tax. He started training leaders, he started raising leaders. All our talk in the church became one, one common language. We are building a cell church. We are building a cell church. But we didn't know that COVID-19 was going to surface along the way. But it has come and it has shown us that simple obedience will always bring greater results. And so that is why we are attesting to the fact that the family has been built up. 
And so by the time COVID-19 came, we had our structures in place. Some people they didn't have it that way. We had our structures in place. When there was a lockdown, uh, we had to revise or review our system. We meeting together ourselves. And then we went into, these are the practical things that we have gone through as a church. We went into the family meetings, over 100 family units, meeting together, getting reports, checking up on them, building them up so that we can be able to fulfill the task that God has given us. So it has been an awesome experience. The spiritual aspect of it, obedience to leadership and the things that they speak, obedience to the general overseer, the, 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 the theme that comes out. This is something that must bring us to a level of simple obedience. And when we do that, God will stick us far. Amen. Amen. So you see, sometimes your leader will tell you something you wouldn't understand, but simple obedience will bring you results. Doc, one of the areas that has been affected so much by COVID-19 is the social and the physical aspect. So can you share with us, how has it impacted our social and physical lifestyle as Christians? Thank you very much, Pastor. Picking up from where the resident pastor ended, we realized that the COVID-19, as we rightly said, came in unexpectedly. And as a result, disorganized a lot of things, including the physical and then our social lives as well. For us, one of the very things that personally it has really strike me is that it has deepened my understanding in my social life and my physical life. Previously, I was taking a lot of things as usual. However, amidst this COVID-19 crisis, it has now opened my mind to understand things that even the Bible had said that I've read over and over but have not been able to relate them well in my social and physical life. One of them is when you read something in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 17, the Bible says, the world is passing away and all its fullness, but the one who does the will of God shall abide forever. This test had been something that I've read over and over and over and over. However, the implication and the understanding thereof would have been very literal or literal to me at that moment. And at this point, I can confidently say that the world and the fullness thereof, the possessions, the relationship, the connection, the whom you know and all that goes with it, are all passing. How does that happen? Even amid COVID-19, we all could testify that if you are to be noted to be the one who is so connected, amidst COVID-19, you are nothing. If you are to be noted to the person who is so wealthy, so powerful and had everything at your disposal I just a command at COVID-19 all those things becomes useless the air travel ways are locked so in the case of severe let's say sickness and no doctor in the where you are could attend to you and you are tempted to leave your bodies there is no way so where lies your strength and so here the world there could symbolize our physical, let's say, acquisition of possession, our connections, fame, lots of degrees, and all that we could think of. But all these things came crumbling down before COVID-19. Now, if you look at the social, Pastor mentioned about families having the opportunity to reunite again. And it was something that COVID-19 brought to us, even though we talk about its negative effect. For me, I had been mostly concent I've been concentrating on the positive aspect of it, simply because I know that COVID-19, even though came unexpectedly, but it came for a reason. Whether it is genetically motivated or whatever, I know it's for a reason. And that is the aspect that I have been looking at, the positive aspect of it, whereby now families, as we all have ad admitted that we wake up in the morning, we have no place to go, we are all compelled to meet together as a family to do a morning devotion. Which had it not been COVID-19, many families who are even in the house of God were not meeting in the morning to have morning devotion. In the evening, they meet together and have a prayer session. Why? Because they have that time. 
and they don't know what to use it for. Thank God for COVID-19. Some people had been saying that, and I, I know COVID-19 came not in a destructive way, even though it has that implication. However, the other positive aspect too is there. The other aspect too that I can also say with regard to the physical aspect is that when you read something in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 14, it says, For I have seen all the things that are done under the sun and have found them all to be futile pursuit of the wind. So all that we had invested in physically, where are they amidst COVID-19? So all these things are to let us know that COVID-19 had really impacted on us and had reorient our minds as to where we should lay our treasures. As the Bible said that if we lay our treasures on this earth, moth and even COVID-19 can stop them. But if you lay your treasures in heaven, COVID-19 had no power in heaven. And though, therefore, our orientation and our understanding has to be deepened at this moment about the things of God, where our priorities lies. And I believe if we are to do that, we then can conclude that it is no time wasting becoming a child of God. It is no time wasting committing yourself to the things of God. And it is no useless knowing our Lord Jesus Christ and making him known because it has so much value that surpasses the limitations of COVID-19. And it is of no immaterial trusting our living God because in him alone is protection. Amidst this COVID-19, although that trust in the Lord, the Bible says shall abide forever. Thank you. This is awesome. This is awesome. So somebody said, I say, Obi and Obi. I say, say, what you say, oh no, too kind. This time I COVID 19 It it shows the impact this virus has had on us. But I picked something from what Doc said. That there's a positive angle to it that COVID-19 has brought families, friends together. We have come to appreciate the things that we took for granted. Pastor, what one of the areas that was very much affected or has been affected so much and you being a finance man would understand it better is the financials of Christians there are a lot of people who are complaining either business have gone down either they have lost jobs and a whole lot what has been the impact of COVID-19 on finances thank you Reverend indeed COVID-19 is a health and a finance problem but, you know, just as Reverend and Pastor Glenn said, it, it is a challenge and it, it presents a change. And we are talking to the children of God and we want to present it in a balanced manner. COVID-19 has brought changes in the financial systems. In fact, all over the world, stock exchanges are crumbling. Central banks are knocking out. Firms, corporates, and organizations are going down. Individuals are facing different forms and changes in their financial situation. You know, when we talk of a crisis, a crisis brings so many things to deal with. And in finance, we say that every problem solved is money spent. So whenever there is problem, it is an issue of money. COVID-19 can be dealt with if nations and economies have more than enough money. The government of Ghana could have asked everybody to stay in the house for four months, provided he could provide all of us with what we need. That's why I'm saying that COVID-19 is a health and a finance issue. In fact, people are saying that the actual effect of COVID-19 will be felt after the disease has been, I mean, over. And that is the finance aspect. And so talking to the people of God, what I want people to understand, that there is a shaking in the finances of the world. I believe that if Christians can understand what is happening and take the right place, this might even be God taking the resources of the world 
unto the children of God. There are three things I want to talk to people about. In our everyday service, we are encouraged to prepare for the future. COVID-19 came to some of us as a surprise because financially, we were not prepared. And the great lesson here is that from this day forward, we need to prepare financially. It is said that every worker, you should be able to save at least you are three months to six months salary for the day of trouble. And for most of us, this is what we didn't do. I can tell you as we sit here, people who financially prepared adequately are not worried at all. Indeed, let us not forget that whilst we are talking about this crisis, there are some people who are making more profit and reining in more revenues even during this crisis. So that is the first thing I want to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact that it is for times like this that you and I, we are serving a living God. It is because sometimes will come that our strength will fail us. That is why we need a helper. That is why we need a redeemer. And that is why we need God. I remember growing up, there was this song, Unyamea Osomno Dano Ono Ena Obejewo. So I want to tell the children of God that it is in times like this that we need God. Thank God, the apostle of the house in the past month has been taking us through fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. Beloved, this is the time we need to get closer to our God. This is the time we need to build capacity to trust and to receive from him. This is the time we need to go to him and ask him to help us. I've been discussing with some colleagues that I think we are not praying how we need to pray during these times. These are times that we have enough time. These are times that we have challenges that we are not able to deal with. What is stopping us from crying to our Father who has promised us that though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, He will be with us. So, this is the time that we need to call on our God. Now, the third thing I want to talk about that from now onward, we need to make sure one, we are in tune with God. Two, we are making investment. Paul said that, not that I want anything from you, but that your account in heaven may increase. If you have an account and you made savings, in times like this, we can draw on. But the question is, can most of us go to God and say, God, we have invested so much, and this is the time we need to withdraw. Luke says that he says that we should be and it shall be given unto us. I want to say that it is late, but we can still do something about it. Let's get the lessons. Let's understand that things will continue to happen that will stretch our finances and we need help. We need assistance. And knowing the God we are serving, He will help us through. Thank you, Reverend. Hallelujah. So Proverbs 6, verse 6 says, Go to the ants, thou sluggard, Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. So we have learned a lot of things about COVID-19. We have seen how it has impacted our lives spiritually, socially, physically and financially. We trust that you are picking down lessons. We trust that we are writing down a few things. We want to go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we will take it up from after COVID-19. In anticipation of easing our social gathering, what are some of the things we need to take note of? What are some of the things we need to note as Christians? So that we will not flout the protocols, but we can still come together as Christians to worship the Lord. So don't go anywhere. Just stay tuned. We'll be back very soon. You're welcome back. We are talking about COVID 19 and its impact on the Christian and the church at large. We've noted a lot of things how it has impacted the different areas of a Christian. And one of the things that stands out through it is that God has a purpose for the Christian. If we can identify this purpose, we will walk in His light. And as He says, our path will shine brighter and brighter until the full day. I want to come back to you, Reverend. Um, you being the resident pastor, 
how did pray sanctuary how were we able to cope with this lockdown this COVID-19 what what are some of the steps tangible steps we want to share so that others will be able to take lessons from it what are some of the steps we took as a church and that helped us during this period thank you uh what's awful that's i'm saying uh, and they are building a corporate spiritual church. And it's something that has been declared to the leadership of the church, and that is what we are doing. Asafu biara, any strategy be a dear to me biara. It depends on the conclusion. The one for your man and two years, you end up hitting the rocks. I think, say, and I'm a sofu peniso, Apostle Alex, Eddie BB, Etu Biama, Edebia, when you fail to plan. Once you see your own to turn your man, things will take you on a ways. But it's not say will be easy and soon. Every time there is there's something so exciting about this church, we don't wait for something to happen before we become reactive. Demon, I am a person very proactive. Now, when you are on your own, Eddie and Monty, oh, yeah, self, you are so many beer and poop as some needs to suit the air. You're doing a horn. Uh, something that uh, it comes to strengthen the church and its people. Into the practical steps, even is also for Benny is she a leadership of the church and the two year name as to how we need to organize ourselves. The son says, Any media can kind in tea, now your structures, Kakra, a war honing tea, your cell system, a year, Juma, who be every leader of the church as I embrace this particular strategy. Said, This is the way to go. It will be be a free by sense, free a soft penny, can see a general basia or benti. Yeah, you are seeing a free soom, a cassa, get a bayer juma. In tea, was our structures, no, who need to know. We started training the leaders. Okay, a free as a fumu, twenty twenty year. Nay, and pie will be a year bore our ha. I will be trained my genesis. So, so soft. What say God lead the way? We don't know the way. And we kept on praying this prayer for the whole month. God lead the way. They are not trying and say, "You are holding every rade." Nebra yeti every nihono. These are some of the things that when you are not aware of, so I suffer Alex and so edit to her. Am I in? Did the sinning now? For I say, be whom say a year to my thing and our brain. They be a make us say this COVID nineteen has brought a lot of experience. They can say entry who booka. We should be able to write for this church. You are my edit to her. Cell meetings. Yeah, gather nipa. Yeah, open up. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, no. Some of them won't share, won't share, won't share. And also restrictions. We are there, you know. And you move to another level. Family gatherings. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All in person to say, Nipa, Ebenya, in touch with what we are doing as a church. I did about quite a two-year one of them say, we didn't want the people to be distant away from us. We still wanted to have a feel of church. The idea, yeah, 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 live streaming in a people with some say, Hey, what the movie I'm a bomb pie? And I'm saying, Yes, we are doing church. We did a pair, a son, your man, your mouth, your mouth, we had to talk on a boy, meet me too, sir, and I'm on. It make I say now, President, he announces in three days' time, he better lock down now, Papa Frey, resident pastor, or Frey, Dr. Glenn, or Frey, Pastor Damois, Frey, me, a Frey. Leaders make a cry and media men. Maybe she are not yet to 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 near my be. You see, a bitch out this time. You see, a bay, you say, you bay, you say, you bay, you say, COVID 19 relief team. Ah, I'm a doc, nay, so for them one or more down. San Yama Wing, you know, I say, it went a long way to help people. Um, one of the experience, I say, uh, relief items, no. Ah, na so for Udi Anwa near day come mama and kofo. So we had a lot of testimonies. Ah, na so for. Eh, I say papa, papa, papa. Eh, I did we have buy ano. Eh, many a so for be nimudi nkoma. Na ya share experience. Eh, we dey see oha. I must say, eh. I must say, eh. Any more ska? Na me so much be nisi su se any ska. Ne mu nyami a di a huwa tuno swa. O plane. Eh, ne nyama nyami a di a pua. When there is that desire, God will bring in the helpers and the strategy to implement. Relief items here, so folk can watch me. A boy, because consistently, every week, we identify the needed. 
people are eh say ye dem omo people who are needy in the society wona omo te entemwa be bia onyame de asafu ya ba be dua even beyond entemwa the team the people were reaching out to, to so many people with these relief items a mo anwa a samena pipi bia ra bit ma bo ma ni pa ye comfortable as at that time onyame bo asafu no e me ye ye week by week week by week and a lot of testimonies have come out of this i mean gda pa said that is the essence of church say so we'll be able to care for the needy amen amen so for um em say yeah yeah share covid 19 in the impact team i did back what you did in the scc so and they say say i and now a bay or china president a bit easy uh, public gathering until very soon say yeah start a crown power and check best at your bar sorry now mr deba kwa yeah papa a yeah yeah this over here set another committee say yeah share into coming back to church and uh, i am sure you were the one who was made the chairman of that committee it being the chairman of that committee what are some of the things that the the apostle taxed you that coming back to church, what are some of the things you and your committee should do? So that we would still, as the president said, we are living with it, but we, we can still go on serving the Lord within the protocols. So what has been the mandate? And the miracle of 19 by a resident pastor can you know send a bit your church members a sorrow neck but yeah one pie is a young bear don't know my opinion ever my quenya near victim i've soon be you know near as a sorry penny for the factory of also say the panel ever by your sorry no you bit my boy if you say yeah can say crown no yeah suffer man of real wolf you know no more genesis or china ever by sorry yeah Send a sorrow for tea. Ah, so for Barbie Timaka say, okay, yes, you are trying to young cry sorry. Many people will cry, Casa, even including some PTA parents near that and said, Oh, see, if you school, crawl money back to school. And as a responsible church and a responsible leadership, send your kind of the apostle of the house, that is Reverend Alice, when we met one of our meeting, asked us, okay, say, so, yeah, per se. You be a crime, I see. Be a crime near bass or send a bass or I hope, sir, yeah, we're having a new meeting. If it's here to what we are doing, but the committee, you know, by the grace of God, I was the chairman and doctor is my secretary. And in Tinia, yeah, and I say, yeah, this is a yeah, and then to three ever to go say, sir, or my painting crackers, I will be a crime not to free or be a uncle as a leadership of the church, and just say. Yeah, the members never be fear at my seven. Oh, my mom be fire in Akaku. Because all your suffer, that's a what sorry by any moon in our dear. Now, some of you used to cast a young friend in my and not just a young five year. And Nunti will wear tax. Say, she say, Papa dear, ya ya, ya ba, sorry ya. And fire in no, and my member dear, and in po, and she a chair, ya yet the members now. On betting me, and none change, say, I bind the atro or so. Send your baby to my boy home by the name of the age. And the same maker say, Committee, yes, yeah. Sir, and soon, seminary, the Hope Rian, sir, hand sanitizer, the Bell Hope Rian, sir, near a buyer, she says, I'm not sure, alcoholic content, higher than 70 per cent. Posters and entry, for example, now we are Sunday, ever we know so. No marks, no entry. We are not in normal times. Even educating the members need to understand. Say, you need normal time. This happening here, mira. Ni pe abe pray your comfort. Umpo adi ba kwa ya chira asoma amenam sa amfidi esu kesi me kasi asa for me ni na ane say. Yamu o mampeni eni ni team o mo ye juma ni frise o mo di e se se papa o mo ni mi na o mo di beba. Se me me nuwa ya ya ti ya ti ma mufu ano. Yang fa nye juma fa so biye maso. Na mpendudu wampu aye pese. Abayim biye mu mayeno. Yema ba ni mwuse. Sevi wad bebe biye ane. Yubeti so. 
until our press century had it. You understand? She didn't know about my interview. You just send the other members in. You know, I said, "You be quiet." Now, so we buy a sorrow hat. Max, yeah, maybe you make a sentence about your career. No max, no entry. Who remember? Can be a no no. You are the very one back at him. You know, any seminar can go on. We be able to make room, sir. Who remember? Hand sanitize our hat. You just send the other members in. Let me say, sir, details, no. Without cutting him, sir, details. And I wanted to throw it to the secretary. So that he will give us the specifics, but now we are chairman, no. And then what what me ask you, see, I say, you are setting up committee, you know. Ah, motor to a niema, motor to a niema be bring home. Ah, yeah, who some of the things are you are already in place? Um, it is very commendable. It is very commendable. So for, yeah, bomb abaso, moye moho, enye ejuma na simbi a ukai ya ne mi dene se, oman pehi ni de waye ne de na akai ya se. You better share a a sorry man for no. Um, secretary, secretary to the committee. Yes. Eti, what are some of the things that has been put in place specifically? Yeah. Ah, yes. You better yeah. You better ma ubia oba a sorry. Na sumo be chuno. No be nim say we have put everything in place. Now be sumi yame. That's a sofu. So dia che edi kai amamu nyani nti ano. Edi nyama be bri atu tu akwemo. And only if I say logistically, you can mobilize it. If you say no bob or so, Veronica buckets, disinfectants, sanitizers, your beer, your friend, humidifier. We are working on humidifier. Neil, a woman say it's it to be mounted, it's wall mounted within a certain number of seconds, and one can automatically releases. Let's say uh, alcoholic kind of uh, spray into the atmosphere to try and then disinfect the whole atmosphere. And the, all these things are near my beer. Pacho Cheche Yemu, a honor. Let's just say, yeah, the baby boy bought dying one. Sir. A disinfected atmosphere. Atmosphere, no. And the after a bohonoma after a wow. Then one can say, a release when they find a humidifier. And she will be getting some advantage point. At least it serves as a relief and a comfort to the people who are coming here. Say they feel secured because measures have been put in place inward and then outward. Like outward, many people say very kind of packet to be there. However, with the very the very first step I here taking here, you per se yeah yeah disinfectation within the whole premises and then outside the premises. And we've been able to secure the liquid that you be used. And I think that anytime soon, no, we'll be getting people who will come and do the spraying. They will spray the whole environment to make sure, say, the place will be ready for setting up the needed kind of facilities, particularly the humidifier and all the other things, no, in place. Now I get it ready for us to come in and have fellowship. Now aside that, no, so no about the arrangement. Inwardly, you know, we have been given by protocol a certain distance to observe, which, of course, uh, you be making sure say you go near now, yes, you know, you be keep to those distances, you no. Know? And uh, aside that, you no, know, so, so, you know, the challenge of trying to have our children at service, you no, know, and you know, so, so we have our own thoughts. However, we know say there is a committee handling the overall protocol to be observed at even the Sunday school. Level. In the end, say a chance say on be release their protocol. So I'm not any part near here say near here we no. A timi any no. Every timi ni na anantia boom. Anase eno an every timi di sobe boya. Yadi eno be tutu fem niya make sure say ye more frana wa ba be suya di eno. I'm so so on be timi suya no. It will in a very safe and a very convenient environment. And basically, you know, all these things at the core moa. Yadi atu tu ho bi o ho. We have them physically now. This is why I train said the right is not very easy. Now, yet me, I extract it from it. Now, yet me, I go with them. Chairman, let me come back to you. In the nature, say what we are saying, they say, say, Namia Adumna President lifted the ban on social gathering near Statiba Soria. It will be safe for our members to come in. In fact, sir, so I say. Sabi, omam penny crown, as a bumpenny for crown, 
Timmy before you who hear more. So more prayer, yes, sir. You have those protocols and the whole by who said the church is more caring than them. This answer saying, and as I should be no, and as a company, dear Mayan, as a team, to your no son, yes, sir. By a target, they say, yeah, they are ten years, so can you need every year. Then the veteran say, seven years, so you sit here, my lord, you have to be. If I say, come over here, I come to the year, so seven. Yeah, be ye ne senior members na kasa bidru he ya. On be dia to say ya ye ne yes fata. Ti obi e ba asoro ma na koma pa ni ye. Ye dwi o mo ho. Se ne o ma pa ni dwi o. Ni e be sre ne se o mo ba sie bi ya ya ye no. Se ne Yesu ka ye no. Se Yesu ma me ka ye no. Ni o be ka chire mo bi ya monye. Ndi asafo ma ya de sre de ya de tu mo ni mo. Amen. So ho. O church members e hwe o. Resident pastor, what are you telling them? Say, ye yeah, easy, the social gathering, no? Should they be rest assured? Say, among bar, you're putting things in place. Ah, uh, a bay safe for them. Yo, me da say, also for, eh, the abbey person, as a woman in Nancy, as he has said, he said, a chairman, the committee, and a secretary, Abu Bosono, we have you in mind. You know, we are one big family. In this house, in ina unyame na makua so isi isi ye ama heaven. Inti bibi biara physically, inti mi muau ame yango heavy biara eno na yade tutu ho si bit mi ake ame ya yeti asi asi. There is always a spiritual connotation to everything that happens. Yeah, from our side, the spiritual aspect of it. And he said, Abra, I observe all these protocols and so, and so. Obe jinemu abompai, ba a recess sema e wumu pa ne se, in kranche sema e wumu pa ne se. Bible can sem be e or Psalm so, Psalm eighteen ho. I say for by thee I have run through a troop, for by thee. E raden kanya huwa, yenti mi enye bibi biara. We can prepare ourselves, we can do so many things, but let your faith be in God. In Him we live, in Him we move. In him we have our being. Yes, yeah, yeah, physically. Biara. So the chairman and the secretary can yeah, be yeah. A man I have a fair fair. Uh, say you're running two services in Pua. I drink chill chill in the bar. Yeah, be yeah. Bibi biya be yeah. Abwa u. Na unyamiye juma koso. Na unsu krisu sum. Aye fe. Ni ni na ako heaven. No sofu. Em se ya dibeti tu kwem. Ya be fwasu. Na ya ye a man aye fe. You know at the praise sanctuary. We are always unique, and we do things to please the Lord. Yamin Shirao. Amen. Um, we will take two questions, and then we will just round up. This this question is coming from Mr. Ernest Yao Asari, and uh, I like this question very much. Yes, that's it. COVID nineteen up to now. One of the scriptures that has been very strong running through hey, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. It's Utie Asofo Utie Enipa Kuekua. Psalm 91. Hey, one of the scriptures we have been there is speaking. What we have been talking about. It's the question of Obi And they say, how relevant is Psalm 91 to a believer in this COVID 19 period? And afterwards, how relevant is Psalm 91 to a believer in this COVID 19 and afterwards? Um, also for Psalm 91, there is a, a, a scripture was here. How relevant is it? Briefly, I want all of us to talk about it. Briefly, what are the lessons in Psalm 91 for Christians? Thank you, Sofo friends. If you look at Psalm 91. Talk about the fact that because you and I are the children of God, and because we have made God our Lord and our habitation, whatever that happens, the Lord will take care of us. So we kaya me di kaya kaya se na me me kaya yumbi ya ya yungro se unyami ya usono. It's like David in Psalm 23 saying that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Psalm 21, a psalm of assurance, say, 
say ye ye hotu nyame so na say ha wo bi ba eh say ye jini di say onu nyame ya di e mo ato no so o be ji ye na fi eh sa sam so we make say ibola time me kwa sorry me ne asori ma na che kakra na me ka chere asori ma de say ibola e be ha dwen pa but no member of the church will be affected and you may join us okay you know hey i see me your numbers bible say it's right for me i might be cooking with you no more buy you know and now i will see a cool person a company for no this any as raffle a cock on on by and then a commander's no unit commander's no opia take your account no more take your account to be a normal call moses in chain no more say what's up for penny ya kokon ba ye no ya kan ni pani nyina na ya kan ni pa no ba ko pempo eni ho a wa yira e wo yi mu nti bona ta so ase mu na me kan e se mi kura ti ko na me ka chira so re se church listen this is a serious crisis but our god will take care of us because that is what he has promised us and that is even one of the reason why we are serving him and glory to god say ebola was over we know in Serion Ebola killed over 6 to 8000 people and as of there were various testimonies somebody came to my office we had a chat the person left the next day i was told he had gotten Ebola and he was dead one of your pastors nyire no yare he went to hospital medical doctor no hwe no no adie chi yes say medical doctor na enya Ebola ni so no kwa ye test na onye bi no kwa sema e wo homa ye na kristo fo ne se ye ndie ye onyankopon bi a asema waka akire se se kunu mu ye den se nyanra obeji ye na no na samre ye covid 19 e cause in first of the share asafo ba bi ye nkran ne se se ye ye mu ni se samre no ye me ye nyankopon ye nkan kire ne se ye ni obi a ka na ho me sa adam bo me mpa ye Radu ni mse me me nko obosom ho na obosom aboa me sa mere yi e na me nko hu ko ku firi bi sabe physically crowd me ni wo fa na se so bi a sabe o ye ta ku bi o be boa won ko ani obi a me wo ti ya de ni nyina be kire yakopon so na bible say ono kwafo ne ne wa so e bono na ono so na o be ye amen amen um doc it doc ni reverend this is what I want us to do. Psalm 91, Doc, verse 1. Reverend, obey verse 7. Am I? Verse 1, or say, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. In the COVID 19, how reassuring is the scripture for a Christian? Thank you, Pastor. Uh, Emi Depa say you assign what I had also been thinking about in my heart. Say, like, basically, the verse one, say, he that dwells. So, up and down, uh, it, outl it outlined a lot of situations uh, they are beyond the control of human beings. Noisy pestilence. You look at plagues. You look at all these things uh, it's outlined in the context now they are not different from what we are talking about but here is an assurance from or see he that that means there's a condition that means he that may not so but he that and she, in this case he that dwells Oni akro no ebe nya nyankopon de ne panbo enti no amidst all this crisis and even the post crisis that is to come sanya na pastor ekano the actual impact on the economy on social life on the spiritual life on the church no are mostly going to be felt after the main crisis because a honor people's resilience are going to be tested and you know basically for us to be able to go through 
before, during, and after no, would require, say, you be hold on to Psalm 91, particularly the verse 1. Say, so you will always dwell. Come what may. So if situations are pulling you out, Krana, no way. La, la, I better stay in than to get into that. And you know, so if we conscientize ourselves and then purposefully make up our mind, say, come what may, this is all I have. I'm holding on to it and I'm not moving an inch, dwelling under the shadow of the Almighty. The pine bone, it will be over sufficient to keep us and all that we are connected to. Because amazingly, and I believe strongly in that. And I know say, it wouldn't end on us as praise sanctuary people or maybe as individual families alone, but even our external families. Those at far countries. Because I know say, a lot of us are having relatives in Europe, America, Asia, and all thereof. However, God, because of one thing, because of your covenant that he is having with you, he is keeping you and keeping them safe. And that is the joy that I have. And I can say, say, say of course, yes, sir, the Lord God will keep us safe in his tabernacle. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I want to send shout outs to a, a, a brother of mine in New York, Alex Uzoma Kwa Jr., and the family. Doc mentioned about friends outside, and he just came to mind. Junior, we want to send shout outs to you. Um, Reverend, verse 7 says, A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8 Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. How relevant is this to the Christian? So, what does it I'm saying, uh, I saw for the kind uh, Ali Foundation very well. And they be a they make kind of say, when you're made on a ma, you're talking to me, I'm sorry, you must say, oh no, quite fool, you're a very soon would die in two fear to us. Now, they are kind of say, or say, this one said, they want to eradicate something. So, for the kind kind, I saw for no our number scenario, no, or see, we will be counted. And all of us will be intact. I say a thousand shall fall at our side. I don't say address it. There is so much fear in the system. So much fear. So much fear. But you say, "Binu cry can school cry biya." Me ma me ma unko. Me say, "Unyamia obo ya hoba ya." Onu ano biko school cry. Me so fu peni biya mi share ne edin komo. Ena jokingly. O kaze ah. Jokingly. But the woman is a Unyame Unyame I want to remind you, all these songs will be coming up. You're going to meet very soon. Amen. Now, the middle chapter on Psalm 20, verse 7. It's a very popular scripture that I love. Some trust in chariots and others in horses. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. The kind verse 7 now, and then kind verse 18. Verse 7, part A, no, Imuaye 8A. And a B, no, so, Imuaye 8B. One now, do a motto, a radisson, or say, on the sorry, no, my dinner, ho, chili, bean. Now, one now, don't be told, Mama, who are they? So, no, or say they will die, they shall be falling. Into the verse, chapter 91, 
very, very relevant in our time and even beyond. The scripture is still very relevant. Let's trust in God. Don't trust in man. Proverbs 3 says, Lean not on your own understanding. At times we think we are very smart. Very, very smart. I say, I mean, they be to But only say, Psalm 91, when you make a such day, very relevant. Let's trust in God and let's hope in Christ. He is our uncle. So, Amen. Amen. Um, we have been blessed today. I, I am overwhelmed by the messages from our panelists. It's been awesome. Psalm 91. Over kind over and over and over again. If you say verse by verse, nyame ewo bibi e de mau. We have been blessed talking about COVID nineteen and its impact on Christianity and going forward. I know, sir, you have written something down, and as and when the president will ease ban on social gathering, head. It is how we are sorry, and now we a Christian leader. Now we share and that's a one shall see and prepare ya. Shall see prepare. Bibi Biaramuna also Christians and you take it the lead. We must set examples unto the believers in speech, in love, in in the way we go about with our things. It prepare since you who not making sure say what to do and near my amma or members say bar sorry ya if who be around you are. If we say God has not given us the spirit of fear, but He has given us of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Christians, we have power. Christians, we have love, and Christians, we have sound mind. Let us remember these days and walk by them. I discussion I want us to share something briefly with our listeners. What do you want to live with them? Then a free carry just in a very short while, 30 seconds, just share something with our listeners and bless their lives. I want to start with Doc. Right. Thank you very much. Um, in fact, going forward, I know say, the battle is still not over. And in Christopher, we still have to strive. We need to keep striving. Now, in all our endeavor, say, you need to be need to strive to go the extra mile in our worship, in our prayer, in our commitment to our corporate world. We need to strive to let Christ be felt in there. And see, one of the things I want to leave with our listeners this evening here, the book of First Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 32, it talks about the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times. To know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200, and all their brethren were at their command. And that is the kind of personality I want us to desire to get to. That we will be people of understanding of the very times and the seasons in which we are. So that we will be able to position ourselves well. Because it's so important to our breakthrough. It's so important to our sources. And the way forward, if we want to get where we are meant to get to, our, then we need understanding. We need understanding of the times and the seasons. Like resident pastor said, little did we know that this issue is going to come. When the apostle of the house was instructing us, build your cell system, training us up. I said, joke. But... Look at how it has been of help to us. That is understanding. Because he saw it, even though not physically telling us, but was putting us in order. And I know, say, going forward, if we are to see beyond, position ourselves well, we'll be able to break through and sail to the heights that God meant for us. Top, we shall always be at top. God bless you. Amen. Pastor, your final word to our listeners. Reverend, thank you. My final word to our listeners, and they say, "Ye ma ya koma into ye ye. Ni abano ye ndi ye ye nse ebinsi da anagrebi mebi. But what kind of history? A kamia ye nse hundred years biyakran bbc. Isi. In fact, 
smallpox and by in Rome. His rich dresser, he could one quarter of the population. Measles, they said that crop 5,000. He could go more president to cry. But so, okay, here, after such time, he and I saw no sorry. What happened in times of need? A opportunity for the church to love and to care. And in the asafu, baby, I will be at the asia say, the Bible say, Yeni, we are saying, I am maybe saying, and we are saying, and we are saying. And I want to tell every church member, say, let's stay relaxed. I have a few things I just want to mention them because of our time. I want to encourage every church member, say, let's stay informed. Staying informed is like, dog, a car, you know. Let's understand the times, the issues, and know exactly what to do. Number two, let us not surrender to fear. Baby, I want to know, we are suffering now. We need to be brave. This is a woman who found 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 a Particularly, baby, any padu duwa wano and koho as much as possible. Na fe ye nye inche suwa, na fe ye nsha fo frun kura, na ni titri wano. Ni pa e ben ye ya wawo hao muno. Kwa mpa pe bie bit ma faso wapuwa wano. Ye mfaso mwa wano. Na coronavirus webe tre muno. Ni ya tre akra bi bre ya manya wako pao. Ni nyame shusha ye woye hono no. Ni ya ye wwe insuwa, nyame bishra ye. Amen, bada wasa wasa. Amen. Um, finally, Reverend, what do you have for our viewers? What do you have for our viewers? I want to say, I want to say, as a church, we are coming out stronger. We are coming out of this triumphantly. We are coming out of this to do exploits for the Lord. I want you to encourage yourself. So, when you have a baby, a baby. They said, I saw for ACC Sudiano. Yenye a city that has be very obedient. Say, I will be able to tune in a bombardier and say, or say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. It is not vague, it is very useful in our times. Yem Fenyansa, Yem Fenimidia, and Moya Brabo, Yem to your new man in a year. And to all Christian leaders all over the world out there. Go back to your thinking box. Pray to God. Are you serving under a leader? Be very obedient. Be very obedient and take instructions. COVID 19, a lot of expose. A child said, said, a Christopher for a soft for leadership. Let us go before the Lord. Let's serve God in humility. Na ye who say when you're men and so at the ma a beko heaven. Mummy and yes sign boss. Okay. I dare it in pa a co heaven. Nimu mien kam. Yen kam. Nin yemu fa for when you're mea what fit in my personal or the beko a ye pa. Amen. Amen. It has been a very wholesome discussion tonight we have been blessed so much there are a lot of things I know you have heard about COVID-19 but I trust that today all these things have been demystified you have understood that there is a God that reigns supremely over this COVID-19 and when the storm has finally settled this God will show that he is truly the God of all flesh Bible says he rules in the affairs of men and we know that even through the storm, he is the Christ in this crisis. I want to leave you with Psalm 91, the verse 16, the last verse. says that with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God has something awesome for you. In spite of everything that we are being through during this period, there is something glorious that God has for us. And I know that as you have listened to us, you have gotten a different mindset about this pandemic 
and then you are looking at it from a different angle. Going forward, we know that your life will not be the same again. Tonight, it has been me here having this time with three powerful men of God and I trust that you have been blessed. I've had Reverend Joseph Opukweji, who is my resident pastor with me here. I've had Daniel Opon Damwa. He came all the way from Sion and he came to meet the lockdown. Osofu, God bless you for joining us. And I have Dr. Glenn Chima. He's also a pastor at the Praise Sanctuary. And Doc has been a blessing to us tonight. I am Pastor Prince and I'm your host of the PS Talk. And until we come your way another time, stay blessed. Don't go anywhere. Just stay under the canopy of the Most High and your life will be blessed. God bless you. Continue to stay on top for Jesus. Thank you.